everybody and welcome to my first video for 2017. I'm going to start off the year using some Whimsy stamps and these are products that were released just this January or maybe um, a couple of them were released in December. I will list everything I'm using, the products and the links where you can find them below this video on YouTube or you can also find that information on my blog. So the first thing I did is I stamped this beautiful new image on some Nina cardstock. This is um, Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, my preferred paper for when I'm coloring with Copic markers. And I stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So those are like my two like holy grail items when I'm using Copic markers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list all the colors of the markers that I've used. Like as I'm using them, I'll have them listed on the screen. And I'll list them from the first marker that I used to the last, so the lightest marker to the darkest. So you can kind of follow along um, exactly what marker I'm using. And I'll put on some music for the coloration process. It is fairly long. I spent a long time coloring this. And even though this is sped up, it's, um, it's still quite long. So I'll put on some music for you so you can watch the video and listen to the music. And then at the end of the coloration, I'll come back and I'll share with you how I created the rest of the card.
Okay, so I'm making a little handmade embellishment here. I took some cardstock and I cut it out using the heart that is in the Hearts of Love card builder set from Whimsy. And now I'm putting glossy accents all over it. I have it down on my craft mat so that I don't make a mess. And I'm going to be sprinkling some very fine glitter on top of it while it's wet so that when it dries, the glitter will dry sort of embedded in the glossy accents. And I'll just set it aside to dry while I work on the rest of my card. This is a piece of watercolor cardstock that I cut to measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Now this die does not cut out the sort of shape of the rectangle. What it does do is cut out the tiny little hearts in the corners as well as create that sort of faux stitched um, edging all around. So now I'm using some picked raspberry distress ink and I'm sponging that onto the edges of my um, card and bringing it into the middle but trying to make sure that I have less and less ink so that it fades almost to white. And when I'm finished with the picked raspberry I'm going to take a little bit of that aged mahogany and I'm going to just put a little bit on the edges just to deepen them a little bit and give a little bit of depth. So now you can see where my, my image is going to sit. I'm going to take my distressed um, ink sprayer and I'm going to spritz some water on top of the watercolor paper and just leave it there for like 10-15 seconds and then dab it with a paper towel and I get that really neat distressed look on my paper. And now I'm going to line up all my elements um, with the sentiments that I'm going to be using to make sure they all fit and they're all going to be exactly where I want them. So there's that embellishment. It's all dried now and you can see how glittery that is. So I'm just trying to place them to make sure they're going to be where I want and I'm trying to make sure everything is straight. I'm going to make sure that everything is taped down really nicely and I'll swing that arm shut and I will stamp the UR with um, black ink. And I was covering the amazing um, sentiment so that it wouldn't get any ink on it. And you can see it did not stamp um, very well. I don't like to press too hard um, on them, so I'd rather sort of ink them two or three times with my ink. When you use the Misty, there's no problem in doing that and, until I get the sort of stamp um, intensity that I want. And now I'm just sprinkling some clear embossing powder over top of that, and I heat set that with my heat gun, and it gives a nice glossy sort of finish to the letters. I'm going to reposition where the amazing is going to be. I actually could have taken it off. I didn't have to leave it there and, and cover it with the masking because when I removed my paper to heat emboss, I didn't put it back in the same place. So I used some Versa Mark ink to stamp the amazing as well as that tiny little heart. And they come in the sentiment set that I used. Lovely Sentiments, I think it's called. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put the right name at the bottom of this video. And then I emboss that with some gold embossing powder. And now the final touch is just to add some glossy, not glossy accents, but some Sharpie, white Sharpie sort of um, little dots just to bring out the, the pink a little bit more, highlight it. And my card is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first video of 2017. I'm looking forward to creating more videos for you to share my card making passion. As I said, all the links to the products will be found below this video on YouTube and on my blog. Thanks for watching.